Hey everybody, it's Patrick at Aim Response Gaming. We got a great custom card segment for you today, so don't go anywhere. It's gonna be great. Long ago, when the world of Wraith was untouched by human hands, a great and mighty beast gave life to the land known now as Valkor. Beneath its claws, the ground turned to stone. Its gaze gave life to the rivers of flame, and with its breath, the very air became dry with the heat of a blazing fire. It carved out a home for itself between the rolling fields and the wine-dark sea, decorating the land in its likeness. For a time, all was still and calm. The beast watched over its territory, basking in the dry heat and sculpting mountain ranges out of solid stone. Yet, one by one, new creatures began to appear on the outskirts of its territory. Strange, soft little creatures clutching makeshift weapons, so small so weak. In comparison to the great and mighty beast, it allowed them to creep onto the edges of the land, watching from afar. With time, the beast grew weary. For millennia it had wandered Wraith and spent so many eons making its home. The great and mighty beast left the tiny creatures to watch over the land, gifting them its fire blood in return. And then, at last, it found a space in which to nest curling up and falling into a deep slumber. It is said that the beast sleeps on, encased in rock, its breath fueling the fires of Valkor. everybody thank you guys so much for tuning in towards the end of the intro hopefully you guys found it as fun as i did when i was making it it was a little bit of a tidbit for what we're going to be getting into valcor um we have a little bit of extra lore for you guys via the uh fab tcg website the emperor himself possesses the gift of the ether the most powerful wizard in all of valcor as a direct descendant of the royal bloodline he inherited the throne from his father a already well versed in politics of the court shrewd resourceful and cunning he is learned he has learned the skills necessary to stay one step ahead of his enemies and retain his grasp on the throne so there is a little bit about court life but we're going to pass that we just want to get a little bit of information for you guys about the emperor and what i feel like he could be um and what he could be tailored as in terms of his hero and his ability all right now let's get to the emperor himself for the card that i've made for you Guys, today, the Emperor is going to be an Elemental Wizard Hero, 36 life. Uh, he has the Essence of Fire. You may have fire deck, fire cards within your deck. Uh, it's going to be once per turn instant. It's going to be two resources. If a fire card that you control hits a hero this turn, create a skin burn token under their control. So basically, under their control, they're going to have a skin burn token, and it's going to be sort of... it's. It's basically the opposite of what a um, frostbite would be. And instead of taxing uh, resources like a frostbite would do, you would have skin burn cards and activated abilities you control deal one damage to your hero. Uh, at the beginning of your end phase, if you play a card, activate ability, destroy skin burn. So basically, that's what happens with um, with skin burn uh, if someone wanted to play something. Um, for the the this is the key text right here for you guys to understand. If a skin burn token damages a hero, you may play your next non-attack, wizard non-attack uh, card as though it were an instant. So basically, any instance of damage from skin burn, no matter if it's one token, two token, three token, or four tokens, and if they play them, all, like if, it, if they damage um, themselves with those four tokens or something, they play a card, it's going to be four damage altogether, but it's only going to be one card that you can play from a wizard non-attack action on your opponent's turn. So it doesn't matter. It's like it's not separate instances. One damage, you get to play another one. One damage, you get to play another one. So it's a little bit more balanced that way. Um, and that is key to some of the cards that I've created here. 
um, to go along with his um, his ability to be able to play off of skin burn to attack your opponent because like Kano you can't really banish stuff and play it through the banish zone like an instant it's not gonna be the same as here uh, for Islander you have to use your arsenal for a blue pitch to be able to uh, go through um, so that's a little bit different and uh, we'll go to the very first card that we made for him I think it was the first card uh, let's go ahead and look at it right here all right so the first one that we have for you guys is a heat wave it's gonna be one resource red pitch is gonna be a common cycle basically um, it's gonna be one for two three and four uh, same defense but if it is fire fused basically you just reveal it and it's gonna be fused if it hits create a skin burn token under their control so base really really basic for you to get more skin burn tokens to your opponent and that allows you to play some um, wizard on attack actions hopefully if they didn't full block it uh, that's one of the basic ways it's a basic way of getting it through now here's why i want to i like this card a lot because it allows you to be more cunning like it says in the description uh, it gives them a choice as well because um, i think as the emperor you would want to give your um, somebody who you're battling a choice to um, it's sort of like punish punish your decks and, mag and magic um so for this particular card this is what i'm talking about this one is flame skull one for four of course one two three or i should say two three four for the other versions and i would say this is a rare cycle um fire fused if this was fused your opponent may create a skin burn token under their control if they don't this game's go again so there could be some very few ways for uh you could get go again because they're going to be low impact cards in terms of damage so it's gonna be fast low to ground i'm sure from what i'm thinking that's how i would like to put it um his play style in um and there's other going to be other cards that will probably get go again as well uh, maybe just right off the bat as a certain conditional way of giving them go again um and then we have some other cards that we were throwing around in the wizard chat because sometimes we like to do that um and i came across an idea of chain lightning version for um the emperor sort of in a way and i'm going to walk you through what i mean by that um this is going to be held under fire uh cost one and it's an elemental wizard action so it can be tutored up by um lesson and lob if you wanted to uh it's two because i wanted to make it a little bit fair for it to be defended a little bit um and it's a yellow pitch so i'm thinking this is, could be majestic just the way that it seems um for this card but a it is create a skin burn token under the target uh target hero's control if that hero will be uh has been dealt arcane damage this turn create that many tokens plus one so i wanted to find a way for you to create more tokens on your opponent's control to sort of snowball a bit better a little bit more because if you were able to create a skin burn token on your turn and then pass your opponents you can play this on their turn and then give them another uh token so you can go off on another piece of um wizard uh, attack actions generally that's what you would want to play because that's typically all you can play um but for you to put this and then you can Put this into play and then you can use snapback sort of like chain lightning in a snapback combo where this isn't particularly resolved but yet you can play snapback because you've played a, a wizard um action card that turn so if you play held under fire and then you play snapback right after that you can give them some damage or the snapback and then this resolves and then they can create two instead of one so i was thinking that'd be sort of a neat way to reapply some more skin burn tokens on their turn um, and I think there could be some more a couple more cards that will do the same thing So you can keep applying pressure on their turn because currently that's the only way you can do is just one wizard on attack action through only one burn of a skin token um, All right for our next card, we were kicking around in the wizard discord We were saying some ideas of way to heal yourself as a wizard um, uh, And it could be an instant or maybe something else where it's basically you can heal yourself um in a way and then sort of keep the tempo back in your favor in some ways um because wizard just gets blown out a lot of the time um but it'll be conditional it's not just straight sigil of solace and it's going to be a generic wizard 
Ashton, so you can play it in Kano or any other wizard deck that you want. Um, here we have is Warmth, two costs, a uh, yellow pitch. More than likely, this would probably be a Majestic, but I'm not sure yet, depending on the strength of this card. If you play another uh, wizard, non attack action this card, you may play this at instant, which is great. Generally, that's what I like from Crew more than Everfest. Um, you gain health equal to the amount of damaged, uh, arcane damage this turn. However, whenever we were kicking this around, we were saying that maybe we can cut it in half. So whatever arcane damage you have been dealt this turn, you could just cut it in half and you gain that amount back. Um, there is ways that you can abuse it because of the Gotal decks, but however, it can keep you in the game a little bit longer so you can survive to find more pieces, put more potions out, things like that. I think it's not too busted, but let me know what you think about that card. That's probably the most, um, the most I have for a question on this card in terms of its balance. Okay, for our next card, we do have a wizard instant. I think there's limited amount of these that you could really print. So far, we only have one, which is Aetherize, and I wish that the card read that you can negate any instant in the game. However, I know that it could be a little bit too much of um, power creep for uh, any wizard, actually. But uh, we have something that we thought would have been good for the Emperor instead of just like Wizard itself, or I thought that way. I think there are people just kicking around just in general having a Wizard instant, but I was thinking um, this would be a great card. It's called Overheat. It is a blue pitch. It'd be for one resource. Of course, I think this is majestic because it'd be just really, really powerful in any other rarity, so it's not great. Uh, Fire Fusion. And so you don't actually have to get the benefit of this by just not using it so typically you don't have to um fire fuse target hero loses arcane barrier for the next wizard non-attack action card did you play if it was fused create a skin burn token under their control because you can kind of combo off from overheat as an instant and you can do it from an action on them which you can stack a trigger on top of overheat from their skin burn token. That way you can play a overheat into an arcane and then you can fire fuse it from before, but then they can reply another skin uh, burn token. So there's ways to, there's ways to layer it. I think you would say, um, and where it could be really good. However, um, I think the emperor would be more powerful in terms of a general wizard like Kano, I don't know the lore too much in terms of how good both of those wizards are. But according to the lore, he's the most powerful wizard in the Valkor. So, why not give him the ability to turn off someone's arcane barrier because he's probably melting the metal that would prevent that. I know Metrix has the ore that applies towards people's um, gear that can block arcane barrier or just arcane with arcane barrier. So he can overheat their equipment, so to speak, and sort of push uh, the next arcane that he has pass through. And you could use that for maybe Aether Wildfire. And that's what I was thinking of. You can do that with Aether Wildfire because then you can play it as their, as your next attack. And then you can kind of combine from then on out. All right, guys, for the last wizard card that we're going to be showing you guys for our custom segment is going to be called Rolling Lava. Um, I would say that this probably is rare cycle, but I don't know if you guys let me know in the comments if this is a little bit too much as well. But I think the on his great. It is two costs for a red pitch fire fusion. Of course, that is key. Um, if it is fused, it gains. If this hits, you may play your non your next wizard non-attack action as though it's an instant. So it allows you to give your opponent a choice. Um, if this hits, you can play your non your next wizard non-attack action card at turn as an instant because it only lasts for that turn. Um, but then you can also have enough resources to pitch towards your emperor ability and that allows you to give them a skin burn 
so in a way you can double up your turn and then their turn so it's sort of a give and take and i think that's the uniqueness of the emperor is that you can sort of skin burn on on command as well and i was thinking of ways to putting like a not really a skin burn, but like an armor melt token um if a fire uh, attack were to hit it seems like the tokens is sort of a way of skin burn but it, it applies to the armor and i don't want you to break the armor however it would make sense but i'm not i don't think that i think that's too much nowadays where everybody's going to be destroying all these equipment and stuff however i was thinking it's sort of like a tick like a ping for each turn um they remove a token from that because some other attack had hit and you do two melt armor melt tokens and then you can apply uh, one ping of damage when they remove it and then one ping of damage when they remove the last one so it's sort of a way to get a little bit more extra pressure in a way that i'm feeling he is like a damage over time hero in sort of that way where he's throwing stuff at you it hurts you're going to try to attack somebody you're hurt on your arm it's hurting for you to swing because your skin is literally melting or maybe your armor starting to melt and then you can get to the skin so it's sort of that way where you can have from some fire damage along with arcane and i think that's what kano is missing right now is allowing himself to use fire along with his arcane and he's literally pictured right there in his uh character picture to have a fireball in his hand so we may even just get kano to be where he is the fire wizard and not the emperor so hopefully you guys thought this segment was fun that the cards were inventive and if you have any other comments or ideas about other cards in the future let me know down in the segment or actually in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching i had fun making this hopefully you guys had fun watching it thank you guys so much for watching